Christina Mukule is part of that rare breed of senior citizens who, despite the stigma and embarrassment that may come with sharing a class with children, go against the odds in order to read, write, speak English and generally get an education. Last year, the 73-year-old widow enrolled at St. Jude Nursery and Primary School in Oderai, Soroti District after experiencing a hard time expressing herself in English while in the United States where one of her daughters is pursuing a master's degree in economics. An education that was made possible single-handedly by Amokule herself after the death of her husband during the insurgency in Teso. The old man had no access of talking to her friends. So from there now she thought of coming back to school and that was the major thing why the old man came to school by herself without us even advising her that he go back to school. Decades on, she is now doing for herself what she did for her 15 children, funding part of her fees to the sale of ground nuts and chicken. Amukule's day begins with an early morning visit to church before heading to the school run by another of her daughters and attended by four of her grandchildren. She challenged the children from top class. Then she said that, ah, I'm not fit in this class. Let me go to P2. Then she talked to the teacher, I mean, the teacher of P1. And she went to P1 and she did her work properly. Old age has made her resort to using reading glasses while in class. Her daughter, however, says Amukule is doing okay and has already learned something. She is speaking some English and even when you check on her books, the books are okay. She's even better than the other children who, are, who began earlier. Again, strong, strong, strong. Again. In primary two at the moment, it may seem like a long way to go for this grandma. Even a waste of time, some may suggest. But for Christina Mukule, this educational journey is worth the while and effort. For her, education and learning have no age limit. Gabriela Penu, NTV at one. Thank you.